That's doing so good. This is round, what is this? Our second test of this? Yeah. This is round two. We're taking it up a mile long, almost straight up mountain trail to the Y here in Provo, Utah. <sighs> you wanna get that? <laughs> I've let some of the air out of the tires so it uh, puts more surface area on the ground because sometimes if there's too much air in the tire, the tire's too firm and it spins out on the gravel. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Let's get started. <laughs> So here in Provo, Utah, there's a thing called a Y that's like impossible to miss on the side of the mountain. It's like the size of a football field and just covered in cement. And it's normally not wheelchair accessible, except for, for the one we built. Yeah. <laughs> Gamebury, have you ever been up here before? No, I've never seen this view. First time? Yeah, it's first time. I haven't went to BYU and I never hiked the Y. Glad to be a part of your first. Three inches. <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at that is disgusting. That's the biggest spider I've seen in a I while. I can't. No. That's doing so good. So I might need to let the air out a little bit more, so then it gets more traction on the gravel too. But so far, so good. There's a creepy tarantula down that way. I think it's out of the trail. It freaked me out. Yeah. No, it was big. <laughs> Are you saying how slow those people are yes. on the trail? <laughs> a lot of us are really slow. <laughs> Maybe because they don't have four wheels. She's not very good at going slow. She said that everyone with legs is walking way too slow for her. A little bit of a speed demon. Let more air out of the tires so she can get more traction. We're halfway there. It's a little bit of a steeper part. Let's see if she can make it. So because of the gravelness of it, if she does start to spin out and slipping backwards, I still have to be relatively close by so I can grab her, which is fine. But there's a couple more changes safety-wise we could probably make on the wheelchair before people take it up mountains. It's probably just better flat all-terrain, if you know what I mean. Is this electric? Yeah. Yes. Cool. There are two e-bikes put together. That is amazing. I love that. Thanks. That so cool. Thank you. It's really fun. Keep it going. So started in 1907, I believe, is when they started building this Y. And uh, they had something called a bucket brigade, which would bring buckets of white paint up to the Y so they could paint it white. Nowadays it's painted by, you know, the BYU employees. But uh, this might be a good way to bring up paint. Uh, it's one of a kind. How much? Uh, um, I don't know. Who made it? Made it? Yeah. Two, two e yeah, two e-bikes welded together. Like this. Turn eight. How many turns were there? Ten. We're getting close then, right? Looks pretty level. Let's do it. Yeah. That's amazing. I find it amazing. I'm in a wheelchair, so this is way more like off-roading than anything I've done. My, I, I grew up with a father in a wheelchair. Okay. It would have been amazing. Right? Yeah, it's been pretty awesome so far. <laughs> I respect you. <laughs> Thanks. All right, Kami, we're almost to the top. Any last words? We're doing it. <laughs> For all you doubters. Okay. First of all, there was no doubters. Second of all, let's go. Okay. Let's do this. What are we doing? We're gonna go down a bit to go to the, the bottom part of the Y, just cause it's a little wider and we can actually get to the Y. Up top looks a little crowded and it's like a ledge. Yeah, there's a bunch so, of people like sitting up there. So maybe, I don't we think we can do that. We care about safety a little bit. <laughs> a tiny bit. So we're gonna go to the bottom of the Y, maybe pull my drone out, who knows. Hopefully the brakes work on the way down, right? So far so good.
All right, so getting down is kind of unique because it only has rear brakes at the moment. I'm, there can probably be a way to reattach the front brakes since the rotor is still there. So the back tires just slide a little bit as we're going. I'm not worried about like her careening totally out of control, but she is kind of in a slide with the gravel stuff at least. Did. Wow. What do you think of the Y? It's not as pretty up close. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, there's a lot of cement on it. This is the highest you've ever uh, hiked up the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> that view is awesome. All right, Cambry, so you used to live in Provo, right? Did you ever think that you would be hiking up to the Y? No, I just talked about something I'd never be able to do. Yeah? And uh, what are your thoughts now that you've been to the Y? I'm an outdoors person. <laughs> I love it. Was the Y made like you thought it would be made? No, it's really ugly. <laughs> <laughs> do you think less of it now? No, I don't think less of it. It's a steep trail. Kudos to anybody that does this on the regular. And I mean, it's just a little bit uglier than I imagined. <laughs> cool, okay. We will, uh, we'll get down. We'll see how that goes. Wish us luck. Yeah. think that hike, I'll put the elevation we went uh, up here in the corner, um, it kind of pushed the limits of this <laughs> off-road contraption. I think you could have done it by yourself, but it was, there was a few sketchy parts yeah. where I like had to kind of catch you to keep from sliding back too fast um, and to kind of like guide you while you were braking. If we were to do it over again, we'd definitely apply front brakes to it just to add a little bit more safety and stability. So I wouldn't slide down the hill. Especially, I mean, if this was paved, I think she would have been just fine. But since it was gravel and a steep angle and it weighs like 150 pounds, with all four wheels having brakes, it would have slowed down a little quicker. And my thumbs would have been a little happier. Oh yeah, because you were riding the brakes the whole time. Yeah, huh? the whole time. Overall, super cool experience. I never thought that was possible. So kudos to Zach for making the impossible <laughs> possible. It was, it was a fun hike. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll see you around.